tell you, say you wanna get away We don't need a plane, I could be your escape Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It is officially the end of hot girl summer So I thought I'd hit you guys with a fall inspired makeup tutorial Do I know what makeup look I'm doing today? No but what I do know is that my hair is looking real fleeky today. Obviously, this is fake. This is not real. It's funny because I've been posting all these Instagrams with like fake hair because I discovered this wig shop that has like all these different types of extensions and wigs and I bought a bunch of them and it's the only thing that I've been wearing and everyone's like, your hair is growing out. You look so good. I'm like, it's fake. So to match this hair, we gotta dive deep. We gotta get this look started. All right, so like I said before, I don't know what eye look I'm gonna do, but I know it's gonna be fleek. I was looking at this Morphe palette earlier, and ugh, this is the 35O palette, and this just screams fall. Is it just me, or does Morphe have like seven palettes that have like nine shades of each of these? Like I feel like I have all the mini ones, but this palette has all of them in one, so there's a little hack. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this face snatched. I'm gonna go in with this Malin and Getz oil that I got. I told you guys in my last video that I bought this for $80 and I highly do not recommend this product. Am I still gonna use it? Absolutely, I spent $80 on it, but nothing happened to my face. I'm sure it has a wonderful things in it, but worth $80? Absolutely not. I spend most of my days thinking what I could have gotten with that $80 and it just, it would have made me a lot more happy than this oil in my face that smells like trees. But I will say that it does show through my foundation. It gives you that glow, but like so does coconut oil. So anyway, next I'm gonna take this Max Strobe Cream. This is in the shade Gold Light. I like this one because it feels like really light when you put it on your face. And this one actually does seep through the foundation, so that's good. So for a foundation, I'm gonna take this L'Oreal True Match. This is the Lumi version, and I think that this is so similar to my Giorgio Armani, and you guys know that I love my Giorgio Armani. So the fact that I'm even saying that this is comparable is a big deal. So what is up, you guys? I wanna know how my booze have been doing. I know a lot of you have started school. I wanna know how school is going. It's so weird that I'm like not going back to school. This is the first year, and... Sorry, apparently this is what happens when you stop school. You just don't know how to think. 16 years. The first time in 16 years that I am not going to school in the fall. And it feels pretty good. It feels like there is an unreal amount of pressure on my shoulders. And it's not from my parents. It's not from anything but myself. I obviously, I'm doing YouTube, which don't even get me started. That is like my number one passion. I'm so lucky to be able to do this, but my personality is like, I always wanna do more. So I was feeling that pressure the most, I wanna say like a month ago, and then I made a vision board. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the law of attraction, but I really wanna make a video about it. That is like my religion. It has been my religion, I would say for two and a half years now. And the second that I changed my mindset to this, you guys, my life completely changed. So I sat down and made my, my first vision board actually, which is surprising because most people do that, that study the law of attraction, but this is my first time doing it. I'm not kidding, like a day or two later, all of a sudden, all these ideas and thoughts started coming into my head of all these different ways of like achieving all my goals. And it, it's just literally crazy. And you guys, I have so much to tell you guys that I can't tell you yet. But just know that I'm working on two different projects right now. One of them is like something that I've wanted to do my entire life. And the fact that I get to do it right now and be creative is like, I've never been happier. By the way, this is my first time trying this. This is the ColourPop concealer this is in the shade medium dark a little sketch that i just bought this and it's like that but i guess that i guess that's normal i don't know oh hell no this is way too pink for my liking but we're gonna just go with it i heard that pinks kind of cancel out dark under eyes and my under eyes have not been looking to the par recently anyways sorry that i was like completely off track but basically you guys will know exactly what i'm talking about in the next coming month or two i would say but I'm so excited and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. And the number one thing that I would say to any of, especially the young girls that are watching me that are confused with like what they wanna do in life, make sure that whatever you're doing is making you happy. Like life is so short and if you're not spending it the way that you wanna spend it and it's not making you happy every single day, then stop what you're doing and do something else. I know it's easier said than done and I know that we have to work, we have to make sure that we're financially stable and all that. But something that I realized is working an eight hour shift 
is putting eight hours of your time and you're investing that time into somebody else's business. Whereas if you were taking those eight hours and putting them into your own business, like imagine how far you could get. And I know some of you will be like, all right, Sigonia, it's easier said than done. I still gotta pay my bills. And my answer to that is 1000%, I agree with you. But if you know what really makes you happy and you have a passion for something, then make that your side hustle and just put in an hour or two every single day just working on that and really building that all the way until the time where you can be independent and be pursuing that. I know that I'm like preaching about this, but I don't know. I just think that life is so freaking short. Do whatever you wanna do, do whatever makes you happy. All right, I'm literally sweating right now. It's so freaking hot. All right, next we're gonna do the eyebrows. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. I'm gonna take my 7B brush by Anastasia, and just outline the edges. I really like this pomade because it does a really good job of staying there. Like, I feel like when I use the pencil, uh, the pencil just, it just doesn't, just doesn't do it for me. I feel like if someone were to just like brush against my eyebrow, then all the product would just leave me and then I would just be left with a very sad eyebrow. I spent so much time on my eyebrows, but it's just so worth it. Like eyebrows make or break your look. You know what I'm saying? All right, it's looking a little uh, blocky, but don't worry, we're gonna clean that up. I'm gonna just take a little bit of my shape tape and a concealer brush. And we're gonna just shape these brows. We're gonna put these bitches in their place, you know? I feel like if this hair were to morph into a song, it would be that song that's like, Uno, dos, no tres, yeah. And then I'm gonna just brush those girls into place. All right, next I'm gonna just set the eyes into place. And like all my greasy areas, which is like my T-zone. My skin has just been looking so weird lately. Like, I don't know why. It feels like the texture is completely different. Like, it used to be smooth, and now it's just feeling really rough, and it's been really rough. All right, let's open up this Morphe palette. Let's see what she's got. I'm kind of want to focus more towards, like, these colors, because if I went this way, you guys would be like, cool, you use those shades in every video. So I'm going to use these three. I think I'm going to start with this shade, and I'm gonna just dab that all throughout like my lid and then I'm gonna kind of like smoke it out with this shade So recently I've been really trying to get into like a Netflix show that I love as much as Game of Thrones But I don't love Game of Thrones anymore because I'm very bitter I'm one of those that is like really upset with the season finale. I don't know if any of you can relate That's a whole nother story, but I've been looking for a show that I can like love and care for as much as I did with Game of Thrones and every single time I watch Netflix, comment down below if you can relate to this. I feel like I spend 45 minutes choosing the movie and then I fall asleep 15 minutes into the movie because I'm so tired. And I just feel like Netflix is just going downhill for me. I don't know if you guys have the same experience, but if you guys have any shows that you recommend, your girl would really, really appreciate it. This is a really good brush actually for the lid. This is an iconic london brush which sucks about the iconic brushes that, that they don't say like this is from the rose gold collection but it doesn't say what brush it is okay and then i'm going to take just a regular blending brush this is the morphe m330 and i'm going to go in with these two so i just use this one on my lid and then i'm going to go in with these two to like smoke it out oh we're good All right, I am feeling this. I'm feeling it. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and go in with this nude shade because I went a little bit higher than I wanted. So I'm gonna just bring it down. It also covers up those hairs that I haven't plucked. And then I take my beauty blender and just clean up the sides for any fallout. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Morphe E36 brush. It's just like a little dense brush. I'm gonna use that for my under eye. I'm gonna go in with that darkest shade that I use on my lid. And I'm gonna just outline my bottom lash line, folks. Actually, I'm gonna switch to this Morphe 562 brush. Yes, bitch, yes. I love this one because it gives it that like nice eyeliner smoked out effect, if you guys know what I'm talking about. 
And I like to take it all the way into my inner corner because I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. Okay, I just stabbed myself in the eye like five times. It's fine. Okay. Fine. Oh, okay. And the good thing is, is like you can kind of be messy with this and then just go in with your beauty blender and clean it up. And then I'm going to just take my blending brush again and just make sure everything is blended into place. I was actually going to put some shine on my lids, but I think I want to keep it all matte. I like a matte look. Eyelashes today. I actually just bought a pair that I really want to use and I can't find it. I will be right back. Okay, I just picked up these lashes from the beauty supply store. They're by the Iconic Collection by Eye Envy. I don't know what that is, but they looked really pretty. So we're going to try them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'm going to give them a little snippy snippy. Um, if you're cutting your eyelashes, make sure to cut them from the end and not the center. Okay, lashes are on. I seriously love these lashes. They're in the style 27 if you guys like them. And then I want to just run some mascara through to blend my lashes into the falsies. Okay, so we're finished with the eyes. I'm going to just bronze up my face. I'm going to take this Giorgio Armani bronzer. And this is in the shade Sun Fabric. And then I'm going to take this Sigma F40 brush. And snatch this face up. I'd have to say that contouring is one of my favorite things to do. It completely changes the makeup look. Like, it makes you look so put together no matter what. Like, I just love being tan. I like this shade of bronzer because it's kind of like the middle of bronze and it has like a little bit of tint of like a dark plum blush, if you can tell. All right, and I want to set the face with some MAC Fix Plus. So next for highlighter, I just picked this up from Ulta. It's by Makeup Revolution. It's the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. And I just loved how there was three colors in one. I'm leaning towards using more of the gold tones for this specific look. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna mix those two. And just put that on the highest points of my face. This was like a super affordable price too. And look at the payoff, it's actually really pretty. I barely even put my brush into it too, so keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna basically put that all over my chest to make it look like my skin is glowing when it's for sure not. Like, are you kidding? I love when skin looks like luminous and wet. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Put it on the chin on the forehead and then for my nose i'm gonna just place it on the tip of my nose and then right in between my eyebrows okay this look is almost complete we just have to do the lips i'm not gonna lie i've been stressing out like all day what lip i want to do i don't know if i want to go i know i want to do like a brown shade but i don't know if i want to go super light or i might do like an ombre lip i like ombre lips because they make your lips look bigger it just looks like more dimensional so it's like there's more to work with Okay, so this one, this one, which might be a little too dark. Um, Amazonian is always the move from Maybelline. Love. Um, I also saw this one. This one's from Glamier Cosmetics. I thought this was pretty too. What is this? It's like, be pretty. So I think I'm going to go with this Too Faced one. This is in the shade Drop Dead Red. Okay, this lip is a bad bitch lip. But I think I want to lighten it up just a little bit because it's a little dark for my liking, even though it is beautiful. And then I'm going to take this shade by Glamour Cosmetics. This is in the shade 1. And just put that on top. Make it a little less purple. I feel like I can take over the world with this look. I feel like my hair matches my face a lot more. I'm feeling good. I always ask this, but make sure if you guys are recreating my looks to DM me them because I want to see them. I want to see what my boos are up to. Like, I feel like we're not communicating enough. Like, I'm always responding in the comments, but I feel like we could get a lot more conversations going. I want to talk to you guys. Like sometimes being a YouTuber is weird because you just see this number and you don't really like comprehend the number or the amount of people that are seeing your video. So it means a lot to me when you guys comment down below just so I can like 
talk to you guys and just to hear what you guys have to say. Your feedback means the world to me. So as always, huge shout out to my booze, my beautiful youths for always watching my videos and supporting me. If you'd like to be part of the Fabu fam, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And turn on your post notifications so you guys get a notification every time I post a new video. And if you'd like to follow me in between uploads, my Instagram is at Sigoni Lazaroff. Make sure to follow me, guys, because I'm posting so many updates on my Instagram story constantly. I ask you guys questions, what you guys like, what you guys don't like, and I really want to include you guys in on my channel because it's not just me. I know I'm the one behind the camera, but you guys mean the world to me, and I want to give you guys what you want. So I post a lot of behind-the-scenes things on there, so make sure to follow me. As always, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!